I want to talk about immigration here. You spend some time in your book uh, talking about that. You interviewed Madeleine Albright, uh, Xi uh, Lin Yang uh, as well. Uh, and you mentioned, of course, uh, Bu Shunravasan being an immigrant himself. Obviously, immigration is a big part of what made America, America. Well, your ancestors came uh, here involuntarily. Of course, immigration, right. yes. Yeah. Uh, but people who came here voluntarily uh, anybody could come in the early days. There, you didn't have passports, you didn't need visas, you just show up. Eventually, uh, when non-Western Europeans were starting to come, we began to say, wait a second, we're not going to have Western Europeans as much. Mm -hmm. So when people who were Jewish, people from Eastern Europe, mm -hmm. people from Asia began to show up, we began to have immigration laws that were very tough. Mm -hmm. And for a long time, we really didn't have a lot of immigration. We were theoretically a melting pot, mm -hmm. and we welcomed everybody, and there's a Statue of Liberty, but for a long time, we really didn't welcome a lot of people unless they were from Western Europe. We changed that. President Kennedy began the effort to do it. President Johnson got legislation through. And now we have a much better system. And we have now about 800,000 people becoming citizens each year. 91% mm -hmm. of the people who take the citizenship test passed it. Um, I'm not sure that many people who are native-born Americans could pass this yeah. test. In my book, I do put out what the uh, citizenship test is. And you yeah. should try and take a look at it. It's not that easy to pass for some people. Did I you try to answer any of those well, questions well, yourself? Well, I, I could yeah. do it, big up, but I specialize in this area. Okay. But uh, there right. are some questions you have to think about it for a second. You don't want to reveal what your percentage was? Um, it was okay. <laughs> I had a passing grade. But actually, yeah. uh, Native Americans, in a study that was done mm -hmm. uh, in, in uh, 49 out of 50 states, a majority of citizens couldn't pass the basic citizenship test. Mm -hmm. So that's a sad situation. But in terms of immigration, now we do welcome people to this country, but it's it makes basically certain types of people. We want skilled people, people that already have some relatives here. Mm -hmm. That's one of the, the, the uh, philosophies of our current Immigration Act. But I would say that we're not as welcoming as uh, some people would like us to be, for sure. Do, do you think that the next sort of phase of economic growth here, longer term economic growth, still relies on having uh, I guess, a fluid immigration system? Yes. Uh, if we don't have uh, immigrants coming in, I think mm -hmm. we're not going to have hard-charging, very smart, entrepreneurial people. Mm -hmm. Right now, about a third of the companies in Silicon Valley, are, are the CEOs are, are immigrants. Yeah. And uh, it's a s situation where you have immigrants who are very highly motivated. They come here, they build companies, and they're very talented. And some of the most famous business people in this country are immigrants, and most, some of the most famous people in our cultural life are, are immigrants. So I think it's an important part of our culture to allow immigration and to take people here and welcome them to the country. It's an important thing of our country. Think about this. How many other countries are as welcoming as we are? How many people are dying to, to immigrate into China or dying to immigrate into Russia? Very few. Mm -hmm. People are really dying to immigrate into this country.